Alright, this is experiment 16.1 for physics 2. We're going to be discussing alpha radiation uh, from our americium source and a zinc sulfide screen. Now this is americium 241, not americium 243, and this gives off alpha radiation particles. So, we can get our americium 241 source from a common household uh, smoke detector. There's the americium right there. And as soon as I can crack that bad boy open, we can get to our uh, alpha radiation source. So, Now before we get to playing with alpha radiation, it's probably important to know how it works. So this is an animation of uh, polonium turning into lead by giving off a helium uh, nucleus, which is an alpha particle. Now here's a close-up of that same uh, radiation happening now uh, and it gives off two protons and two neutrons that's an alpha particle alright so we have our americium 241 source an alpha radioscope zinc sulfide screen so we can watch it uh, we have a neodymium magnet so we can hopefully change the path of the alpha particles a little bit and just a uh, card piece of paper and some gloves so we don't poison ourselves all right, got our gloves on, ready to play with some science. So first thing we do is unpackage this radioscope. Now this is a magnifying glass essentially with a zinc sulfide screen attached at the bottom of it. Um, and this zinc sulfide screen, when excited by alpha radiation, gives off little flashes of light or scintillations as they're sometimes called. Um, and this is what we'll be using to see the alpha radiation, as it were. Alright, we have our americium-241 source here in this metal container. And the americium source is only on the very smallest piece of metal in the center there. It's just a film applied to this piece of metal. It is very potent. In fact, only a few kilograms are made every year worldwide because uh, so little is needed. And now, in order to see these flashes of light, uh, we'll place this radioscope over it like that, and hopefully it'll light up for us. Alright, the next part of the experiment will be varying the distance in between the source and the zinc sulfide screen. Now, alpha radiation can't travel very far, so we'll see how this turns out as well. Alpha radiation also can't penetrate things very well. Uh, it, in fact, can't even penetrate the outer layers of your skin, and the same is with this paper. We shouldn't be able to see any flashes of light when we do this. Now, finally, we're going to play around with the charge of an alpha particle. An alpha particle is a helium nucleus, and that is positively charged because it's only neutrons and protons, no electrons. So it should be repelled from the positive side of the magnet, and hopefully we'll see some changes on how the alpha particles hit the screen uh, when we do this. Now this has to be done in the dark, and we have to let our eyes adjust, so obviously we won't be able to film that as well. Each of those flashes you can see right now is an alpha particle hitting that zinc sulfide screen. Now I'll gently move the americium source away from the screen. You can see the amount of alpha radiation particles hitting the screen decrease. Next we'll put our piece of paper over our source, blocking it from the screen and see what happens. Now, big surprise, none of the alpha particles make it through, so there's nothing to see. Alright, now those alpha particles are positively charged, so they should go to the opposite side of the screen as the positive side of the magnet. Now here they're on the left, the magnet's on the right, and they've just switched. And I'll switch them again, there they go. So they're moving to the opposite side, of the positive side of the magnet. So 
as it turns out, you can play with the radiation without having the authority show up at your door. This has been Experiment 16.1 for Physics 2. I hope you enjoyed.